Hello guys, welcome to Filmingo Recaps. Today we're going to look over an American romantic comedy film named The Ugly Truth. The movie is about a television producer Abby and Mike, the anchor of the show. Initially, they both are not willing to work together, but in the end, they fall in love with each other. Abby is a control freak and that's why she has not been with a man for a long time, but she believes in true love. While Mike is a man who thinks there's no such thing as love, and he knows a lot about relationships between men and women. He helps Abby to make a boyfriend, but his efforts result in something different. The movie starts when Abby leaves her home for the office, like her daily routine. As she reaches the office, she gets overwhelmed with the complaints from her team. Larry, the anchor of the show tells Abby that he can't do the program with his wife anymore, Abby encourages him saying that he's a strong man, he can handle it. After doing a cooking segment of the show, Abby's assistant, Joy, tells her that the boss is calling her. Stuart, Abby's boss, tells her that their rating is constantly getting down, every other channel is performing better than theirs. He asks Abby to restructure her show, but she doesn't agree and says that she can recover the ratings, and she will. While talking to her assistant, Abby says she should cancel her date tonight, to have some time for thinking about how to improve the ratings, but her assistant insists that she should go on date. In the evening, Abby meets a guy in a restaurant, but because of her control freak behavior, her date doesn't go well, and she returns home. While listening to the news on TV, Abby happens to watch a show, The Ugly Truth. The program is hosted by Mike. He seems to be a misogynist from his views about the men and women relationship. To disagree with his disbelief in love and romantic relationships, Abby makes a live call in the show and argues with him. She tries to refute his opinions, but Mike asks her about her boyfriend and she says she's not dating anyone right now because she has imagined a perfect man for her. Mike says she doesn't have a boyfriend because she might be ugly, and with this, his point stands true. The next day, Abby's boss calls up a meeting and tells the team that he's hiring a new anchor. He shows them some clips from the last night's episode of Mike's show. Abby immediately turns it off and says they don't need that man, he's not good for their show. Meanwhile, Mike walks into the room, and their boss says he has already hired him. Abby tells him that she is his producer. Mike likes it but Abby gets confusingly angry with him. After some moments, Mike comes into her office and Abby tells him that she is the girl who called in his show yesterday. Mike gets surprised and says she's not ugly at all, but Abby angrily walks away. Before their first show, Abby tells the other anchors Larry and Georgia to take Mike down during the show, and insult him proving that his ideas are silly. When they are on air, they pose some difficult questions to Mike, but he answers all of them. Instead, he starts questioning their relationship. He says they pretend to be a perfect couple, but actually, they are not. He says Larry feels inferior to his wife because of her success, and he is afraid of her. Abby sitting in the production room, gets hyper, and tells them to bring in a commercial break, but her boss says to keep rolling. Mike tells Georgia that she cannot get any better man than Larry at this age, so she should let him be a man. Mike says to Larry that he must become a real man, and asks him to kiss Georgia in front of the camera. Abby asks the team to stop him from doing that. Larry's manhood shines through and he kisses her wife warmly, and Mike says that is the ugly truth. Abby screams furiously at him, but Stuart likes him very much. Feeling mistreated, Abby hides in a wardrobe. Her boss and her assistant tell her that their ratings got blown up. Everyone liked that segment of the show. Stuart tells her that if they keep Mike with them, it will be beneficial for both of them. At night, when Abby's at home, she gets in trouble when her cat climbs on a tree. Abby climbs up the tree to pick up her cat, and she sees her new neighbor through the window, Colin, who is a very handsome man. While looking at him very interestingly, Abby slips and gets hanged from the tree. She shouts for help, and Colin comes out to help her get down. He takes her into his house and gives her some treatment for her foot, as he's a doctor. Abby becomes excited to meet him as he's just like a man that she desires to be with. Colin gives her his card and asks her to call him in case of any need, and Abby leaves. The next day, Abby tells Joy that she met a perfect guy. After that, she goes on with her work and bears Mike's incredibly weird acts in the show. The following day, Mike tells Abby that the show hit the ratings because of him, but Abby says his point of view about men's and women's relationship is not true. Mike says then her imaginary boyfriend might be the truth, and Abby says she has found a perfect man. Mike doubts her sayings, so then Abby calls Colin in front of Mike, and asks him to go to dinner with her. Mike eavesdrops on their conversation and cuts the call. He tells Abby that she needs to blow him off, she has to make him suffer desiring her, because that's how men work. He tells Abby that he can help her get this guy and in return, she'll have to work with Mike without any objections. Abby is skeptical but she agrees with his deal, because of her past bad dates. Mike takes her out, and tells her some tips that she needs to follow to get this guy. He says she should not be acting like a control freak psycho, while she's with Colin. He also takes her to a clothes shop to change her looks, to make her more attractive and desirable. He tells 
tells her that all men wants the same thing, and that is the action in bed. At night, when Abby gets dressed and Mike is telling her some tips about how to flirt, Colin comes to her home earlier. Mike hides behind the sofas and Abby opens the door. Colin asks Abby if she would go with him to watch a baseball game, and Abby gets super excited. The other day, they go to watch a baseball game. Mike is also there, assisting Abby secretly that what she has to do. In the evening, when they return home, Mike tells Abby to tell Colin goodnight and go home, but Colin grabs her and kisses her. Abby becomes extremely happy and thanks Mike for helping her. Mike says he thinks Colin likes her. The next day, Abby and Colin go for an outing and enjoy some time in nature. Soon they get bonded and often start getting together. One day, Abby tells Mike that they should do a segment of their show in the upcoming balloon festival. Mike asks Abby why she does not join some famous big show in New York because she is great at her work. Abby says she prefers living in Sacramento, it's better than New York. Mike asks her if she has slept with Colin, and Abby says they have not yet, they are saving the moment for this weekend. He gets surprised that Colin seems to be a different man than his assumptions. One day, Mike gets good news from his friend that he is invited to a famous show on a national TV channel, and he has to leave tonight for Los Angeles. Abby also gets surprised by hearing that. But afterward, her boss tells her that Mike got a job offered at that channel, with higher pay, and that show is his audition. They both get worried that if Mike quit their channel, they will again start having hard times. So Stewart asks her to go to Los Angeles with Mike to somehow convince him not to leave their show. Abby says she can't go, she is going with Colin. Stewart says, if Mike quits, they both will also lose their jobs. The next day, Abby also goes to Los Angeles. Mike gets surprised to see her in the hotel and asks what she's doing there. Abby says Stewart insisted that she should get with Mike, he may need a producer with him. When they are going to the studio, Abby asks him a few pre-interview questions to get him prepared. Mike says he's sorry for her not getting the opportunity to spend time with Colin. Before going to the set, Abby tells Mike that he just has to do what he always does. He entertains millions of people with his stupid ideas, and people love him. Mike thanks her and goes on to the set. The host asks him for his advice on men and women who are looking for love. He asks Mike why he is that type of man, did any woman deceive him? But Mike doesn't answer this question and changes the point. After the show when he gets to Abby, she tells him that she knows about the offer he got. Mike says then she may also have heard that he declined that offer. Abby asks him why he did so. Mike says he wants to live with his nephew, he needs Mike around him because he has no one else in his life. Abby appreciates his decision. She realizes that she has so much in common with Mike. Then Mike takes her to the dance floor floor with him. After dancing for some time, they go to their rooms. When the elevator reaches Mike's floor, he tells her that he will see her at 8 o'clock. But then they instinctively start kissing each other, and when the lift alarm rings, Mike says he should go now. They both get confused that what happened to them. After reaching the room, Abby thinks she wants to do it again, and then suddenly she hears a knock on the door. She quickly opens up the door, but she sees Colin there. He says since she can't go with him, so he decided to come to her. Abby tells him that he surprised her. Colin opens a bottle of champagne and it falls on his shirt. He takes off his shirt and Abby goes to get him a towel, while Mike comes to her room to tell her that he also wants to do it again. But Colin opens the door and Mike gets surprised to see him there. He says he came to tell Abby about their flights. Abby comes to the door and shockingly asks him what he's doing there. Mike hesitantly says that he came to tell her about the flight change, but then he remembers he has already informed her about that, so he leaves. But Abby comes after him and stops him. She tells him that she thought it was Mike at the door, but Colin surprised her. She says she can tell Colin to leave, but Mike refuses. He says she worked hard to make this happen, so now, Mike will not spoil all of this. After saying that he leaves, Abby comes back into the room and says sorry to Colin for that, but Colin doesn't mind and asks her to enjoy the night. Abby asks him why he likes her, and Colin replies that he likes her because she's smart and not a control freak like other girls. But Abby says she's not what he thinks she is, she's been faking herself the whole time. She says that Colin is a great guy, that's why she's telling him that. The next day, when Abby returns to her office in Sacramento, Stewart angrily tells her that Mike quit the job and joined another local channel. Abby gets confused and says they don't need him, she can find another man like him. At the balloon festival, Abby does the show with a new guy. Mike is also there with his new producer to do his show, and he is also watching Abby's show sitting on his set on the other side. Abby dislikes the new host of the show, so she jumps into the live show and starts hosting the show herself. She indirectly talks about the moment that happened between her and Mike. She says that men are weak, not brave. Whenever they have to step up and make a move, they are afraid of doing that. Mike gets offended and rushes toward her shooting spot. He also breaks into the show and talks about women's choices, and says women prefer a man's status over his emotions. Mike and Abby start arguing about their elevator moment during the live show. Abby says Mike was panicked and ran away. Mike says he came to her room 
whom to tell her, but he didn't want to compete with her so-called perfect man. Meanwhile, the balloon pilot comes and flies the balloon. While in the air, Mike asks Abby how much fun she had with Colin, but Abby says she broke up with him. Mike interestingly gazes her, but Abby says he lost his chance, and now nothing is gonna happen. Mike tells her that he's in love with her, but Abby keeps on fighting with him. Mike says he just told her that he loves her and yet she is arguing with him. Abby asks him if he really loves her, and Mike says yes. So Abby passionately kisses him, and the movie ends with this scene. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, to never miss upcoming interesting videos like this. Thanks again.